Hi, this is Simon Browning from See Through Web, and in this video, I'm just going to demonstrate how we resolved an issue on the local leads website where the video wasn't showing up. The video had been updated and it was not showing. So, to do that, I'm going to log into the back end, and I've already done that. Uh, let me bring it up. Here we go. Make it fit the window here. So, what I'm looking at currently is um, the back end homepage, which is what we have over here, the home page. doesn't look exactly the same, but that's uh, sort of structurally similar. And at the top here we have a text with media element that has the text and it also has the specifications for that video. If I click on it and edit it and go to the media tab, we can see where the media specified and it's in the alternate text because that's the way this module is set up it's it, uh, it's for images but you can also work with video as well and so um, there was something wrong with the link that was preventing the video from showing up so what I did was I uh, went and looked at the history for this element so I'm going to close the document and let me shrink this side over here I went and clicked on the icon in the top left corner of the element and the bottom item in this list is the history slash undo, which if I click on it, shows me a history of all the changes that have been made. Now the last one was the, made, the change I made to fix it. But what I did was I scrolled down to the last time it was actually working, which I happen to know was March 23rd, today being March 30th. And I can see that on March 23rd there was a change where the red is a removal and the green is an addition. Um, this code was removed, and that's the link to a YouTube video, and this one was put in. Uh, so I can see the format, it's file, colon, and then the link. And today a change was made where file colon and the link was removed and just the link was put in. And that there is why it wasn't working. It was missing the, the file colon. Now this is a specific setting for this particular module, but looking at it, helping to understand what the problem was. And so then all I did was I went up and I uh, removed what was in there currently and replaced it basically, but just putting file colon in the beginning. And the video once again showed up. So there you go. There's a sort of a quick demonstration of one of the ways that um, item history can be used to look at what might be going on on a particular um, element anywhere. All of them have it. Any particular content element has that item history that you can look at. Um, what we didn't look at here is you can actually undo things in there as well. So notice it's called history slash undo. If I realize I want to go back to this particular item here, I can hit this button here and it will do a rollback for me. First it previews it, then it will actually do it. So there you go. Um, Simon Browning from C3Web.